Emerson College is a liberal arts college known for its communication and film programs. When a student decides to go to Emerson College, the athletics are not what draws them to the school. Since the college is so art-driven, many students and faculty do not give much to any attention to their student-athletes. We play seven of our ten conference games on Tuesdays. In Monday's practices, we have a bulk of our students have classes till 345. So we walk off four to six for practice, maybe get some extra reps before or after. We also have some people that have to take a night class from 6 to 945. So by the time people show up after 345 class for practice, and by the time people leave for their class at 6, we have everyone there for 90 minutes as a team day before game. Usually in season, we either practice every day before like games actually start, or we'll switch off between games and practices. Usually practices are two hours, and we lift for around an hour beforehand. Games usually last around three hours. So adding that up, I would probably say around 18 to 21 hours per week. Well, for soccer and tennis, it's different. But for soccer, I'd say we practice around two hours every day and then have two games a week. So that's another like two hours. So probably like 14. And then for tennis, probably more like 10. I don't know 100% because I'm not there with them and I'm only hearing you know, from some of the kids. Um, I think it's pretty standard to, you tend to hear more of the negative side of things rather than the positive side of things with stuff like that. So you're gonna hear people's complaints instead of you know, the faculty members or the athletic department doing positive things for the student athletes. Um, so I think there's always things that we could probably be doing better. Student athletes at Emerson College, I believe, do not get the recognition they deserve. Um, again, this being a liberal arts oriented school, very talent based um, within the film or even theater industry. So when you think of Emerson College, you don't think of sports. And I think that's the same kind of mindset that everyone at Emerson College has. I feel like a lot of people don't even know we have sports here to be honest and uh it's definitely that shows up when uh or at least that's reflected when people show up to our games and when i say people show up to our games i mean no one shows up to our games well i think also to try to look at the positive side of things i mean i've been here for eight years and i've seen the growth in the athletic department changed tremendously from a lot of coaches being part-time to going full-time and then you know a lot of assistant coaches like the budget with that growing just exponentially um, so it's nice I mean myself to have the help I have to go out and do the recruiting um, to help bring in student athletes is huge uh, I mean I I coach both the men's and women's volleyball team so I'm in season year-round and it's hard for me to get out and go to a lot of the club games because of it so having that increase in budget has allowed me to have an assistant to go out and do it I've never seen a favorite professor or anyone that I know isn't part of the sports community coming to my games unless they're my sweet mates or my friends that I genuinely asked and honestly the school doesn't really promote the games as much as they could I mean Emerson's sports Instagram account does promote them but that's if you follow them and no average student of Emerson College that's not um, included in the sports is gonna go out of their way and follow um, the accounts. I feel like even teachers don't really recognize the hard work that we put in and like the dedication and the extra time that we sometimes need uh, as student athletes because you know we have to go to practice for uh, two hours every day. We have matches that sometimes mean we have to miss class, etc. I just feel like we don't really get that recognition. MIT, I think, for example, across the board, every single one of their sports, from what I've heard, uh, to quote me, but I'm not sure if it's exact, they practice 4 to 6 p.m. That's the slot they have. That's when you're there. So there are no classes offered between 4 and 6 p.m. during the week. So that's when every single sports team, as far as I know, ends up practicing. So if we did something like that, it could work out well. I think going along with the promotion, they could definitely show appreciation for student athletes by promoting it heavily or even showing up at the games. I know when the basketball team started winning a lot a lot more people came to the games people i've never even seen before and i don't think necessarily that sports teams winning games 
should mean that more people should start coming. Mm -hmm. Um, I think that should just be a thing that kids do or even administrators just come to the games like in general. Maybe like some sort of spirit club organization, just some sort of organization that brings fans together and has them show up to games. That's really what we need. We just need support at games. It's been a huge change, but I still think there's another step that we could obviously take it to to help us compete and give student athletes, you know, the recognition they deserve too as being student athletes here.